Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Pravin Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, author, currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. In our last recording, we have learned about creation of a storage account, which is mandatory for a function app. The next mandatory item for the function app is App Service Plan. So today we are going to learn how to create an app service plan and then we will also learn how to create a function app. Let's get started. For this video, I have created entirely a new folder called Azure Bicep, Azure Function App, wherein I created two files. One is for App Service Plan Linux and the other one is for Azure Function App. The current file which is opened is app service plan linux.bicep. So here I have already written the code uh, which creates an app service plan with Linux as the operating system. And if you want to understand this code, you can navigate to one of my previous recordings. So you can go through the recording number seven in my Azure Bicep playlist, which is shown here. Now, back in Visual Studio Code. Now, this code will create an app service plan. Now, if you remember, we discussed about referring this app service plan because the function app must be created inside this app service plan. So, we need to output the app service plans ID. So, output app service plan id it's a string equal to app service plan dot id this will return the app service plans id which can be referred while creating the function app let's save this file by pressing ctrl s now let's navigate back to our Azure function app dot bicep file where we'll start writing our function app code. So let's start writing Azure function app. So by typing function and I can select this which generates all the required code for creating the function app. It has a lot of code. We'll go through each and every line of code. Uh, but for now, let me provide few details. So here we need to provide the function app name AC from AZ bicep hyphen dev is to this function app one. That's the name that I would like to provide. And for this, I would like to create a parameter as usual. The location I'm going to create a new parameter. Location which is string equal to leave it to empty, and then this is the important one kind equal to function app. If you don't provide this, then it will treat as app service. So, the difference between app service and function app is this kind equal to function app. Now, the next item that is important is server form ID. So, we need to pass server form ID as a parameter. The server form ID will decide which app service plan you want to create this function app. This will be passed as parameter. So, I will be using this and passing it. The server form ID. Now, Azure Function App depends on storage account. So we need to pass the storage account connection string to all these app settings. Right now, as you can see here, there are three app settings which require storage account connection string. 
for now let me hard code it because we need to understand list keys and key one functionality before we make it dynamic for now i am going to comment these lines i'm pressing control kc and let me copy paste the hard coded connection string from the story account that we created in our previous recording let's let me head over to azure management portal here is the azure story account that we created in order to get the storage account connection string we need to click on access keys and then click on show and then copy this connection string and let's now head over to visual studio code where we can refer the connection string so now let me copy the entire line of code and paste it in the subsequent lines and <clears throat> here we need to provide the name of the function app it's a good practice to create a content share with the same name of the function app for now i'll create i'll make it a parameter function name string let me refer this here as well as here it's a good practice to refer lower case letters while creating the content share because the code is generated it's referring to some old version of Azure function runtime. The latest version of functions runtime is 4. It's a good practice to use 4. Now, this is a instrumentation key. If you want to refer an app insights, then we should refer some instrumentation. For now, I'm going to comment this and let me refer or let me hard code to some existing value to get the instrumentation key of an existing app insights let's head over to azure management portal as you can see here this is an existing app insight and in the overview tab we can directly copy the instrumentation key for now i'm hard coding these values later we will understand how to automatically get them now I'm back in Visual Studio Code. Now let me paste the app inside instrumentation key. That's it. We're done with authoring the function app code. Let's save it by pressing Control S. And we are done with creation of an app service plan with Linux OS and the function app as well. Now we need to invoke these two from our serverless dot bicep. Let me write the code for invoking the app service plan as well as function app. Now we are in serverless dot bicep. I have just added the code for app service plan Linux and I am I'm calling the bicep file and passing the required parameters similarly i have created a module for function app wherein i am passing the function app name and location and the third one is server form id now the way we get server form id is with the help of existing module so this module returns the server form id and we already discussed about referring the outputs of a module using the outputs collection dot apps as plan id that's it we are now ready to execute our code for creation of app service plan with linux os as well as function app and before that we also need to ensure that we are passing 
the parameters from serverless.parameters.json. Let me key in those values. All right, as you can see here, I have created all the required parameters. Now, let me execute the bicep scripts with the help of the Azure CLI command. You might get some warnings, but let's ignore those warnings. We have, we have because we have hard coded some of the connection strings related to storage account. We'll fix them in the upcoming sessions. But for now, the command is executing. It will take some time. I'll come back once it is successful. It took a while and the deployment is successful now. Let's head over to Azure Management Portal and see if App Service Plan and Function App are created. Let me refresh. As you can see here, we have one App Service Plan and one Function App. So basically, we have created a Linux based App Service Plan. The way we create Linux App Service Plan is by referring this kind is equal to Linux and reserved is true inside the properties. These two are important for creation of an app service plan with Linux operating system. Now this module is written in the app service plans ID. That's about app service plan creation. Now, for Azure functions, we have used the tooling for creating the code. Azure function is also a kind of website. It's the same as app service. However, we need to provide the kind as function app to differentiate it from app service. If you don't provide this kind, then Azure will treat this as a regular app service. And the most important ones for having a function app to run successfully is the storage account connection strings. Right now we have hard coded the storage account connection strings to have our function app up and running. But in our upcoming sessions, we will learn how to make it dynamic and we have done the same thing for app insights we have hard coded the instrumentation key of an existing app inside but in the upcoming sessions we will learn how to make it dynamic that's it for this video thanks for watching please feel free to provide your feedback in the comment sections i will see you in the next video thank you bye bye